Hi, welcome to another video from Doc Lock. We're going to talk about plug spinners. If you see my bench, it's a mess. Anything less than 10 locks on your bench is, well, it's a hobby. So as you see my bench, locks everywhere. All right, let's look at um, just a standard lock. Let's look at uh, plug spinners. It's something I've never been over before. Plug spinner number one, plug spinner number two, plug spinner number three, plug spinner number four. What is the difference here between these plug spinners? Oh, one, two, three, four, number five. All right. What is the difference between these plug spinners? Okay. Originally, when I was new to locksmithing, this was the only plug spinner I ever knew. It works on a piece of spring steel which goes through this center section here. You rotate it. When you're in the right position, you put it at the top of the cylinder and you click it. Boom, rotates it. Not too bad. This one has seen better days. Um, we've used a lot of these over the over the time. Uh, this one here hasn't been used in quite some time. I just brought it out for this example. The tip is off center, like it really should just be like a little straight flat, so I can go to the top thing. Um, I don't really use this one anymore. It was a cheap one. It does work good. I have used it for many years. So why don't I just go through and sort of kind of show you how to use it. I'll use this one. Okay, it's fixed. So normally you'd uh, put it at the center there and I want to rotate it this way. So I've got to make sure the pressure's going in the right direction. I put it at the top of the cylinder. And it, and it rotates it past the 12 o'clock position. This particular one I don't like too much, I don't use too much now because I find it a bit flawed. The reason I find it flawed is because when I spin it, just like what you saw there, when the actual spring still inside gets too worn, it actually doesn't spin fast enough. Okay, so that's what actually happened there. It didn't spin fast enough. I'm gonna to go to the next model now. This one in here is actually used for automotive locks. So uh, this is an automotive lock pick. Um, so what you would do is you would load the tension on this first. In, I'm going to load it in this direction. I should be able to, there we go. I'm going to load in that direction, it doesn't take much. It's got a big huge coil in there. When I release it, it releases. Load in this direction. I can load in that direction as well. I put in my pick, I start picking my lock. Once I'm happy with my pick and I've picked it, but I can't find no action on my actual lock, I can pull the trigger, one and two, push it, rotates the other way. Automotive lock pick used for uh, laser cut keys and things like that. So that's a tension, uh, that is a pick, a tension tool and um, a tension wrench, sorry, not tension wrench, one plug spinner all in one. Okay, this device right here. This one here I bought because it reminded me of the HPC, but it's actually not the HPC, it's a copy. Still using spring steel through the guts. Um, they've copied it all the way through. So I thought I'd buy it because it was cheaper than the HPC. But a lot of the time I can't even get it to push down. You know what I mean? Like it, I've pushed it up and I can't push down. So I'm actually gonna need to tap it to get it to come back down to earth. It's back down to earth now. Now I have positions, position one, position two. But what I find with this particular tension tool is the spring pressure is not right. And when I do pick a lock, most of the time it actually resets and uh, it doesn't clear the, the pins quick enough. The point of a plug spinner is when you pick a lock on one particular side, which I'll, I'll do now very quickly, we pick it. That's too noisy at this time of night. There we go. Taking forever. I'm blaming the crappy pick gun. When you pick a lock in that particular position, you want to spin it to the other side. So let's say that this side here is not your opening side. You want to pick it around to this point. 
but as soon as you go past this 12 o'clock position it's going to re-engage all those pins the spring loaded pushing down at the moment those pins are in this top cylinder and they're kept they, they're just sitting there so when you rotate it it's going to snag with five pins wanting to snag so what you have to do is use your cylinder use your plug spinner and rotate it round in that direction so you put it at the top of the plug spinner and when you release it it actually worked that time but this plug spinner here um, by the HPC one this particular one this caused me some grief sometimes. I spent a very hard cylinder to pick and I go and pick it and I go and rotate it and bang snags up. Cost me cost me time, cost me effort. This one's not too bad, hasn't cost me too time. I don't have a bad vibe about that one. Automotively, I that one works too. Automotive, this is an automotive plug spinner. Okay, so you, it's always easier to pick it on the uh, locking side than it is the opening side. So you rotate this one with the knob at the back, pull the trigger, boom. It's fast, big spring, big coil, big action, no problems. Never had a problem. This is ba made by KOL, oh, sorry, KOM. Both ways, no problems, used it a lot. All right, let's look at the big kahuna. Made by Ding Dong Loi Chao Sing Sung Bung, if my, uh, interpretation is correct sing song toy tong bao yeah there you go that's who it's made by no that's not who it's made by i'm just taking the piece there's the case here's the beast right here now h u k ting tong loi song bao okay this is a beast it's got the spring in it you push the button plastic button doesn't really look that good the feel good is good here the feel good is excellent here cheap and crappy here but when I rotate it that spring is a force to be reckoned with that is a spring now you can use this on automotive and domestic and that's a hell of a spring it's strong it's hard for me to turn okay 180 written on the front on the back here, on the bum, pull this little thing, and whooshka, you're coming out, you're coming out with automotive type um, turners, but on saying that too, you could eat quite easily ground one of these down, um, and they will fit quite nicely in there, so why don't we just put one in there and give you a demonstration. The other three or four there are basically used for automotive, comes with an Allen key. So you, if you're using it for domestic, you just set it up once and you'd be right. We'll Allen key up the side. It's got like a magnetic grip in there too. Oh, what's happened? The spring has sprung. In actual fact, I've, <laughs> I've used this tool wrongly. It's actually magnetic. And what I've just done is I've moved that from that. Okay. So you don't need that Allen key. That Allen key is to work the spring. But that is a strong force. Okay, so here's our cylinder. We want to rotate clockwise from my direction. So I'm going to rotate anti-clockwise. I can only get one turn on it. One turn. But watch this. Top of the cylinder. Boom. Straight over the other side. Anti-clockwise now. Doesn't take much really. We go to almost uh, 12 clock position. Straight over. No problems. So I believe this tool is a bit of a beast. When I compare, um, let's move the automotive aside. When I compare tension, uh, sorry, when I can pair plug spinners these particular ones come to mind now you've got HPC copy HPC will probably be more accurate than this particular Chinese knockoff but you've got this, to, this type system this system here works I mean I'm, I'm not 
I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It works. It's not the biggest, strongest spring. It's using a piece of spring steel like this and twisting it. And then that twist has to re redo the action. This one here does a very similar, in actual fact, does the exact same thing. The only difference is the shape. So those two are working on twisting this particular piece of wire right here to get that inertia. This one here is using a big, huge spring. So when, when that happens, it just has more power. I didn't need to, I only need to click one click and watch that cylinder again. This is actually magnetic. All right. So if you want to do automotive or domestic, you just swap between one. You can easily grind these down as well if you lose them. Boom. Straight open. So how does this HUK rate compared? This would be the bad boy. This is the one you want in your toolbox. It has up the bum of it, it has four or five different little tools. Magnetic, just like that. Actually, this one should fit in there too. I don't know how they all fit in there. Actually, sideways. There we go, sideways on all of them. Sideways, you can fit your, your domestic and automotive. And basically, it has so much power that you're not going to need to pick it again. And when you talk about things that are important, um, not spending excess time redoing it because the tools failed you is important. So I give this one, um, I give this one a perfect rating. Well, not perfect. I'll give it a nine. The little tools slide right straight back in the back there. You don't need to carry this case. You don't need this Allen key. Let's just throw this away. This tool here, I would give a nine. This tool here, I would give a...